Hey Capricorn, I'm going to do your mid-month reading here. Uh, let's get right to it. First card that comes out, we have Judgment. So maybe you made a decision recently here on some uh, either relationship or maybe a work relationship here. Let's see. Or work uh, environment. Maybe moving forward in some sort of situation. Knight, uh, King of Wands, so um, you know visioning you know your future here you know you want a certain way of uh, your life to look uh, building your own thing here so you're definitely looking into um, building um, some sort of uh, surrounding that you're you know you're wanting you're using you know maybe a you know just a close-knit group of friends to help you out uh, or maybe just having a small group of friends that you trust to talk about it um, could be investing into something maybe um, yeah, new new love coming your way. So Ace of Cups. Um, so it could be um, making a decision to kind of leave something and go into something new. Let's see. Ace of Cups is huge. I mean, this could be a water sign that comes towards you. Doesn't have to be. You got fire here on the table too. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the Hermit. So it looks like you've been through a period of just kind of like quiet, going within, kind of like you know, working things out in your mind um, really just you know if this is a new business maybe you've been working on like some sort of business plan uh, if this is a relationship you've been kind of really analyzing like do you want to go into a relationship right now or you want it to be friendly you know something like that um, I get a couple I'm gonna get all the cards here and I get a better idea what's going on you have the ten of cups so ten of cups in the upright it's good um, so something Something is going to bring you a lot of happiness here. So this, this is a reading for mid-October. Um, so something's changing pretty quick. So maybe maybe it's something that, um, you know, someone comes in that you've been waiting for for quite some time, um, offers you something huge, and, and this is something that you've been always wanting. You know, this is like a brand new beginning in a relationship where, uh, you know, you guys kind of pursue into, um, you know, this is a relationship that pursues into marriage, you know, something like that. So... Uh, Six of Pentacles. So yeah, you've been kind of built. You're gonna be building on, on some sort of stability um, here within the relationship. So maybe you both are moving into each other. Maybe it's like a friend, or maybe you know you guys have been going out for a little bit, dating, and then deciding to kind of move in together. You know, something like that. So it looks pretty good. Very light energy. Nothing too serious. Five of Wands. Support. You know. This is typically some, you know, sometimes you can read it as uh, conflict and stuff like that. But this is also support. You can see that people are stepping on the wands here to to kind of move up, and it feels like maybe you found somebody that supports you, um, you know, and you and you're feeling pretty good about it. You know, maybe you have these ideas, and maybe they're crazy ideas, and this person like looks at it like, oh yeah, I think we can make that happen. You know, so you feel supported, like your ideas are not being there's someone that you can actually talk to. That's what I get the feeling of. Uh, the Emperor, yeah, that's your environment. So this is somebody that is, um, you know, in charge, you know, um, like a more of a, uh, you could say father figure, something like that, but this is somebody that is, you know, been through it, uh, worked through a lot of the issues and stuff like that. Um, they built themselves up, uh, they worked on themselves mentally, physically, they're all, you know, they're, they're good. I mean, they, they've, they've definitely, uh, this is someone that you can rely on, like I said earlier. Um, let's see, get two more cards out. Looks pretty good here, like, Next couple of weeks here, you could be seeing a lot of big changes or, um, you know, taking that leap here to kind of just move forward. Yeah, you're going to have victory. You're going to feel pretty good here. Um, ooh, two of swords being your outcome. So two of swords being your outcome is, is you're going to have like maybe confusion on which direction to go. So maybe there's going to be some sort of energy of uh, this could be you or them, but maybe just maybe... Um, double double thinking of, of you know if this is the right way to go you know this is gonna be it's gonna be something that um, let me get a clarifier on that but it's gonna be something that kind of creeps up on you maybe uh, something from the past kind of reminds you of something but to be honest with you I would say let it go because like in the on the reading here it's, it's straightforward um, I think this energy the two of swords energy is really just in your head uh, this could be them too, but I think it's going to be one of those things where they just, um, you know, at the last minute to say, you know, is this right? Is this the right decision? Um, bottom of the deck, yeah. You just take a leap of faith, though. I mean, you know, um, you're going to be scared. Leap of faiths are, 
they're not one you know readers we all say take a leap of faith but th there's always something about it right you just can't take a leap of faith um, you know and not worry about responsibilities there's probably financial stuff that's tied to it um, there's probably like you know family that's tied to it there's, there's other things that's always tied to taking a leap of faith to where you have to be a grown-up and kind of look at that to make sure if that's the right decision um, you know you always want to make the right decision for yourself not for someone else so just remember that always make the right decision for yourself uh, I get a couple of uh, cards here but again looks pretty good just don't be in your head about it don't overthink um, yeah don't overthink at all uh, just let it just go with it let it roll um, yeah the page of Pentacles that dropped off here you do have the ten of swords so you do have some uh, maybe some past thoughts of uh, betrayal maybe maybe your past you know person that you were with in the past like backstabbed you you know there's a trust situation here there's someone that you know you have a hard time trusting but just remember you you've I kind of feel like you've kind of went over the whole like you went you went past that already so you're just kind of bringing this crap back to you don't do that let that go that's all done I mean um, if you start bringing that to you, you're gonna manifest it back into your life. You're gonna start the cycle over again. So let it go. Just just have a good time. So yeah, Queen of Swords, uh, Queen of Swords energy is kind of like uh, focused. Uh, you know, when I say let it go, like literally cut all the crap that that comes towards you that's negative. Keep a positive outlook. If you think positive, positive things are gonna happen. Obviously, if you think negative, then yeah, you get it. So anyway, that's all I really had here for you guys. I mean. It looks really good. I mean, there's going to be someone new that comes in or it's going to be a new relationship that starts off. Uh, it's going to make you really happy. Uh, could be a fire sign. Um, doesn't have to be. Uh, but, you know, you're going to be, you're going to feel pretty good about it. There's someone that supports you. Um, someone that definitely supports you and wants you to grow. You're going to be supporting each other. And, uh, but, you know, get in that mode of just relax for a little bit. Just, just go in that hermit mode. Um, if you are in that hermit mode right now, and just chill for the next couple of weeks here this this new thing that comes in is going to be unexpected you know maybe you just kind of walk in somewhere and that happens or maybe you know this person and like i said you guys are talking about moving moving in with each other moving to a different city something like that so anyway uh let me get a whispers of lord ganesha card here for you and i uh, wanted to just appreciate you guys watching the videos uh if you made it this far um you know, like I was telling my other in my other videos, um, I've been doing readings for quite some time for friends and their friends, and you know, doing phone readings and stuff like that. But I never, never did anything online. Uh, I didn't really start until August of this year, and you know, I'm just kind of uh, getting it out there. And and if this resonates with one person out of a couple of hundred that watch it, uh, then great. I mean, that's that's what I'm looking for. So, um, you know, just kind of doing what I like to do. This is what I like to do and love doing it. So. Um, Anyway, let's see what card comes out. Uh, we have Achievement. I think this card came out for somebody already, but uh, Achievement is what comes out for you guys. So let's see. Uh, 42. Yeah, this one just came out for um, another sign. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me just do another shuffle. Maybe it wasn't, I don't wanna keep repeating the same cards here. Give me one second, bear with me, bear with me. Wow, achievement came out again. So this is, I'm gonna have to read it here. So achievement. Let's see, 42. So someone, 42 might be someone's lucky number here, or uh, somebody's 42, or the person you're dealing with might be 42. Um, all right, so let's see. You are surrounded by abundance and prosperity, luxury, quality, prestige, and sophistication, value, and elegance. Many stories relate that Ganesha has two wives, Siddhi, success, and Riddhi, prosperity. The symbolism of these two women indicate that if you walk the path set by Ganesha, success and prosperity are guaranteed to be always by your side. The search of the material success seldom brings it, brings with it achievement and spiritual goals. Ganesha wishes you to realize that by actively developing your spirituality and constantly working with the divine, 
you will experience positive flow and effects in all areas of your existence. When you stay connected to your spiritual nature, you have more of a serene mind. Develop an accepting perception of yourself. This attitude will help your heart open up to spiritual matters. A high level of self-mastery coupled with the high ethical practice will increase the likelihood of enjoying material success. As more people discover the rewards of more dynamic and fulfilling spiritual life, this success will become more norm in society and not exemption for a few eccentric individuals. The more a relationship among human beings develop into true kingship, the more humanity can achieve beyond the present limits of knowledge and material measures of success. Become part of the brotherhood governed by love, working towards building a happier, more loving and productive global society. So that's what I had for you guys. Uh, once again, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if this did resonate, go ahead and hit the like. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.